And that's why there are some people who've been avoiding you. Can't face you. Can't look you in the eye. Because they know what they did to you. But what's crazy is they don't think you know what they did to you. But you don't even understand if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Okay, this is real serious, y'all. Okay. I live in Cleveland, Ohio, technically. East Cleveland, Ohio. Uh -huh. And I have a lot of responsibilities. As a servant of God, and as a mother and grandmother, mother of three, I have my, you know, my son and my two older daughters and then I have my three um, grandchildren <clears throat> and over the last few months it has occurred a couple of times already <coughs> <coughs> that I foiled a kidnapping and I don't mind taking care of our children. This little girl could have been killed today. I had to do what I had to do. <clears throat> God just immediately started talking to me. I am very aware of my surroundings. But at the same time, I don't really pay attention to people walking in, on the sidewalk I pay attention to them but it's like drive by just make sure they ain't pulling nothing or pulling I, I, okay I'm aware of my whole surroundings including people on the sidewalk I have a I have a natural thing that, that happens to me a, a something that happens to that had happened to me and it, it comes into play when I walk outside my door. I've been followed before. I've been almost kidnapped before. Um, it's just a multitude of different traumas that has happened. And I'm very aware of my surroundings. But on a spiritual level, I watch for people who are targeting. If, and spiritual people know what I'm talking about. Okay? But, when you're called in the capacity that I'm called in, <clears throat> you tend to get a lot of people that really don't know you to come after you. And I've had that happen on numerous occasions um, throughout my whole life. And I've had people admit to me that the devil told them to try to destroy me. How bold is that? <clears throat> but I don't want to get into complete details about what happened <coughs> but this little girl the first little girl I didn't have a word for her I just told her to make sure that she calls and tells somebody that this has happened and I you know don't don't say that I foiled it or whatever. Just it, I almost got kidnapped and that's it. Leave it there. I don't want credit for what I'm naturally and spiritually supposed to do. Okay. I don't want credit. This is not why I'm making this video. This video is for you guys to see spiritually that if you get out of all your crap and empty yourself out every day forgive yourself repent 
and receive the deliverance and utterance of God. Like, get a personal relationship. Okay? I foiled two kidnappings here in Cleveland, Ohio. <clears throat> Only because God used me to do this. <coughs> if I had been... <coughs> If I had been my natural, natural self, I would have never looked no kind of way, left, right, upside down, and backwards, to watch out for anybody, not even a kid. Because I'd be so paranoid myself about people trying to come after me. I don't care. Come. Come on. Because guess what? <clears throat> I am bold, and I'm going to tell you now. I know that I am called and I know that I am chosen. No weapons formed against me are going to prosper. No matter if you premeditated it or if it's spontaneous. You just like what you see and you got to get it. Okay? I think this is what happened to that young lady today. The man <coughs> seen a young girl. Walking by herself, just getting off the bus. And it's always the silver car. So people of Cleveland, keep an eye on, <coughs> on these silver cars. It's always this Ford car, silver. I think it's a Malibu. It's almost like my daughter's car. But it has some things wrong with it. My daughter's car got some stuff wrong with it, but it's like an, an internal. Her car is nice. Um, but it's a Malibu. It's silver. I think it has a dent in the front, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I didn't get the license plate number because I was way too far away from the car and the girl. I was more closer to the girl to make sure she was safe than to get the, and then my phone was dead too. Anyway, <clears throat> but look out for the areas of Lakeview, um, Superior, and Euclid. <coughs> <coughs> All bus stop areas, watch for those in that area of young girls and boys that are either going to school early in the morning, which that was the first girl, it was like 7, 7.30 in the morning. I was going to go pick up my granddaughter to take her to school. And then <clears throat> at around 2, 2.30... <coughs> <coughs> I want the people of Cleveland, all spiritually led people, servants of God, when you're out and about, pay attention to our children and adults too, because they coming after the, the adult women and the younger adult men. <coughs> Especially, I'm sorry to say, gay men. I got a lot to say about that. I don't judge nobody because I come from the LBGQ. Okay, I I come from that. I'm I'm I I, I still have the nature, but I don't practice. Okay, the nature it go it, the, the the nature will subside. It would it would go down. It would lay dormant. You can be totally delivered from it. Believe me when I tell you. But you like if you like men, you like the way they look, you're going to look like the way they look. But you're not going to have the desire to go forth and try to talk to that person. Seriously. And then, as for me as a woman, I have my desires, but and I look at women to be pretty. But at the same time, 
I have enough sense to know that I can't cross the line because that will dormant my call. It don't stop the call. It just dorments. It sits down. Literally sits down. Nobody got to sit you down. God going to sit you down himself. But I say this to say, you can serve God in any capacity or any life choices that you are in. Because he can use you in your mess. Whatever mess you're in, I'm generalizing now. Okay? But, you have to surrender your will. Your will. Not God's will. Not the devil's will. Well, the devil's will. Go, go ahead and just, just subdue that. Like, let it go. Let that just go. Subdue, let it, it go. Okay? Like, don't even pass go be punished but I see a lot of anointed men and women of God including myself who has helped a whole lot of people in their mess as well as coming out of their mess okay even when I I, I went to a service last night like I, I seen a lot in a short period of time and it still has to be some deliverance going on. But you can still serve. But you can't serve two masters. You can still serve. Because whatever the assignment is, you still got to do your assignment. But you got to pick. Is God more important than your preference? Is God more important than your habits is God more important than you and what you feel and what you want and how you want it he needs hearers and doers of his word and be faithful to it loyal to it but faithful to it small as a mustard seed don't take much so I'm saying all this to say <coughs> when God has an assignment on your life you can't be full of stuff to, because you gotta be able to hear and obey hear and obey be hearers and doers and use knowledge and wisdom not your wisdom but God's Lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Okay? That's Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. I love you. I may not like your ways, but I love you anyway. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Jesus loves you, and so do I. You have a wonderful and beautiful day. On purpose. With a purpose. Amen. Amen.